Here, guys. So, um, whenever I asked what people were interested in seeing um, on the Facebook group, some people said grooming. So I thought I would just run through a couple little things and do some tidbits here and there. Um, I don't know specifically what you're hoping for, um, but this is. Uh, I'm just gonna play with this a little bit. So this is Noodle. My noodle man. Now, obviously, you know, I'm, I am I groom a lot of dogs, so I'm set up with a grooming table. And um, this is called a loop. This is called grooming loop. This comes in really handy because um, you don't want them jumping off the, the table and hurt themselves. If you're just doing your own dog, you know, a... a a grooming table always comes in handy and you can and get a a decent grooming table off of Amazon for probably about fifty sixty dollars ish and then I mean it'll definitely make your life easier because when you have them up on the table it's easier on you because it's more at your level and they usually aren't gonna screw around and fight with you as much as they would if they were on the ground and if you have one that has the grooming arm, some of them have the grooming arm built in. Uh, if you get the cheaper ones, a lot of them it's just the table and then you have to buy the grooming arm separate. So grooming arms usually run 20 to $40. But it's one of those things that if it's making your life easier and it's meaning that you're gonna do a better job grooming your dog and keeping them in good condition, then it's an investment, it's well worth it. So, you know, I pretty much, you know, I start with a slicker brush usually, uh, and, you know, I'll, I'll go through and do a general brush over with a slicker brush, and I, this is probably what a lot of you use, is this slicker brush, and it's, it's good, it's a nice brush, it's, it's good for certain things, and, you know, it, it, these these tines can be pokey, so if you've got a, a freshly shaved dog, they're probably not going to appreciate it on their body. He is in a rolled coat because I'm considering showing him. So he he's kind of messy right now. I should have done this last week because his coat looked really good, but now it's a little long. But he's got, you know, he looks fairly slick, but he's got quite a bit of coat here. Uh, so it's, it's not going to bother him as much as if he were freshly shaved. So I can go through and I can do his body and his furnishings and get everything with his slicker brush. But then I'm still going to go back through, especially on his furnishings, and do a, a, a metal toothed comb. So a lot of times what I like to do with these longer furnishings, and I've got him sh kind of short to make it easier to keep, keep him in, in decent condition, but whether I'm using the comb or the slicker brush, I have a tendency to start at the bottom of the foot. And I hold the foot and kind of keep the hair pulled back. And then I kind of, it's almost like teasing, you know, if you're a 1980s hairstyle person, you know what teasing is. And so, you know, I keep the hair kind of pulled back and I brush down as I go up through. And that will kind of help get you going in layers And it does a really good job of making it look good on top, but, and, and these are fairly short furnishings, so it's pretty much going to get down to the skin most of the time, and it's going to do what it needs to do. But I always go back through with a metal tooth uh, comb, and you can get different ones. You've got, a lot of them will have, you know, different spacing between the combs. Uh, and you can also get the type like this with a wooden handle. Anything, as long as it's got a metal tooth comb. This side I don't use as much on this one because it's closer together. And if you get into knots, it doesn't do quite as good. So I prefer something that's got this spacing a little bit further apart. And I'll just go back over it with the comb just to be sure that I got out everything and got the any knots. The problem with the slicker brush is that... 
a lot of times on these, if you, especially if you keep your furnishings longer, that slicker brush isn't going to get down to the skin. And the skin is usually where you get your mats. You're not going to get mats on the top of the hair. You're going to get your mats at the base of the skin. And the biggest reason for that is because when, when hair does come out, even though these guys are quote unquote non-shedding, but when the hair does come out and release, if it doesn't get brushed out, it pretty much gets caught close to the skin. And that's where your mats, a lot of your mats are going to be as close to your skin. So I like this because this is going to get you all the way down to the skin to, and, and to, will work out any mats that you might have in your, in your dog. And I go over all of the longer hair with this. Now, if you do have a lot of mats, you can use detanglers. You know, we have, there's the spray detanglers, and they're okay. Um, the stuff comes off of Amazon. They're silicone based, and if you, if you miss and you spray it on the floor, it's gonna make your floor really slippery. But they work better if you put it into clean, wet hair. And, um, but I have a tendency to prefer stuff called Cowboy Magic. I can put that pretty much on anything. Uh, I, it's, you can buy it at Tractor Supply or Rural King. It's going to be in the horse department. And they have shampoos and conditioners and all kinds of stuff. But they've got stuff that's called Detangler. And it's kind of a gel. I don't know where my bottle is. Let me look for it. Okay, so it comes in a bottle. It's detangler and shine concentrated, and it's kind of a gel. Um, it says it gets rid of frizzing, grows longer hair, which we don't really need to grow the longer hair, but if you put this in and you can work it into to a knot or furnishing, and it, I think it does a pretty good job. So, same thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and go over this back leg with the slicker but the hair on his back legs is a little bit longer and it's a little bit more matted plus sometimes he pees in it a little bit Same thing, you know, I'd like to, to start at the bottom and hold the hair back, and then as I work up the leg, I let the hair down. switch over to my metal tooth comb and I do both just because I, I feel you know if it's a minor tangle or mat I feel like the slicker does a pretty good job of getting it out and then because the 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 comb can concentrate the pull a little bit more and so if you do get into a little mat you're more likely to to, to pull on that knot and, and maybe you know make them a little painful so I go through with the slicker brush plus the slicker brush it might get out a little bit more of the loose dead hair than what your comb will it's just going to kind of depend he's got some knots up here where he's probably peed on himself gross gross I peed on yourself mm -hmm. and then so like here he's got some knots it's more towards the end of of the hair and so a lot of times I'll use my fingers to kind of try to hold on to that knot and separate out the hair that's not actually attached to it. And then this knot's towards the end, probably more just because he's dirty. And I'll hold the knot at the base close to the skin and then I'll work through it with my comb.
And yes, the breed is is uh, advertised and touted as non-shedding, but they do, you know, the hair hair does die and the hair does fall out. It's not like it just continually grows forever and ever and ever. You're just not going to find it on your clothes whenever you snuggle with them. But when you brush them, you will get hair, and this is all dead stuff that's pulled out. So oh, here's the one side, this side. So that's kind of how I go through my furnishings. And then he doesn't have much skirt. He's got a lot of body. I haven't felt the need to put a lot of skirt on him. And which really, you get into your show dogs and they really don't have a lot of skirt like what everybody puts on these, uh, uh, you know, on the, on the pet dogs that they leave. They're not really supposed to have all this skirt in here. Um, if they if they leave a lot of skirt on them in the show ring, it usually means that they're a real thin, waspy bodied dog, and so they leave the skirt on to try to create the illusion of a dog that's thicker built. At least from what I've seen. So that is how I do my furnishings. And you know, you can kind of get up in the in the armpit. And this can be sensitive, so you just kind of be easy in case you do catch a knot. And on my pets, I will shave out the armpits because that is one of the number one spots that you're going to get matting. I'll use a 10 blade on my clipper and I'll shave this, I'll shave all this out here in the armpit. But since I'm hoping that he might go into the show ring, I need to leave this hair here. So that's brushing out my furnishings. And then I'll just go to the other side and repeat the same process.